Problem number eight. Our goal is to write out this to the screen. And this is very similar to a prior problem that we had up here with number six. Note that this problem basically would be correct if we could get rid of all this right here. We would have the answer to number eight. A great place to start seems to be to start with the code for problem number six and adjust that so that we get the output that we want. And if, as I take a look at this, really the first time I only want to print one number, then I want to print two numbers, then I want to print three numbers and four numbers. So let's go back and look at that code. The code looks like this. And when we run it, just to confirm, we get the output for number six we are printing out the number j and that value of j goes from 0 up to 9 then 0 up to 9 and we repeat that 10 times because of this loop right here the issue is that I don't want to do it 10 times to begin with I only want to do 0 and then two numbers and then three numbers so I need something that starts with number 1 in that first outside loop and then goes to 2, and then goes to 3, and then goes to 4. I've got something really close right now with the i. I'm getting numbers from 0, and then 1, and then 2, and then 3 each time through the outside loop. I'm really close to what I want. I'm just one off. How do I get one more with that variable? That's actually just incredibly easy. All I need to do is take this 10 so that I don't always do it 10 times, get rid of that, and then do it i times, but not just i, I'm going to do i plus 1. This will give me, first time through the loop, i will be 0, and I'm going to add 1, and I'm going to get 1, and it will only print out this far. Next time through the loop, i will be 1, I add 1, and I'm going to get 2, and I'm going to print out this far in the loop. If you step through the code animation on the web, you can see this in action. First time through, I'm starting up the loop, row is equal to zero, and I hit this line right here. Row is basically replaced with zero. I've got zero plus one, which gives me a loop from a range to one. So I'm going to go from zero up to, but not including one, column right here is going to equal, as we can see, zero. So I print out zero. Computer does that little substitution in its mind out comes the zero. I drop back down here. I'm done with this inside loop. Print out a blank line and I come up here and I'm now set row is equal to one. I've got one plus one so I'm going to loop for a range of two which will basically be the numbers zero and one and column goes to zero. I print out a zero and then I'm going to print out a one do a blank line, come back here, and now I've got a row of two because this we've gone through zero, we've gone through one, we're now on loop number two, and I got the two plus one, I'm doing a range of three, and there we go, we just keep up with that pattern, giving us a triangle of numbers.